Welcome back to another charger review. I have the Mi Boxer C2 4000 smart charger in for testing today, and this was sent in via the manufacturer for an independent review. This is the third model that I've looked at on the two bay chargers from the company. And just have a quick look at some of the features that are included. This has the most features out of all of the ones that I have tried. Um, you can charge three different voltages of lithium cells. It takes all of the major sizes of battery right up to the D sizes and the 26650s and in addition to that you also have the capacity test and the internal resistance test a lot of these features are listed out on the back the maximum charge speed with this one is 1.5 amps per slot now that's not as fast as the C2 6000, but it's still a decent charging speed. I think most people will be fairly happy with that. I have the UK version. This is the power adapter. You'll get your own one depending on the region that you're in. And looking at the unit, it looks very similar to the uh, C2 6000, except you have that extra button. And we also have a fan on the top next to the power input button. That so it will dissipate the heat and allow you to discharge the batteries. We've got good build quality on this. We have raised contact points. We also have metal sliders too. They're well greased up so they feel quite smooth. And on the reverse side of the sliders, they're also slightly raised the contact points. That helps with the flat top cells. Silicone pads, bit of extra ventilation, and it lists out the batteries again on the underside. Quick close up on the fan. One of those smaller fan units, so we'll be testing that later on and see how that sounds. Now the user manual, this is something you're going to want to read purely because of the extra functions that you have. You can adjust the timer so it can show the time remaining. You have three different modes for that and the capacity test. And to be honest, the manual is a bit on the long side for my own personal taste. I would have shortened it down considerably, but um, you will definitely need to look at that whilst you're doing some of the functions because it's perhaps not quite as intuitive as I would like. So you'll be able to pause that and have a look through any specifics that you want to find out. Certainly that is an area that I would improve upon. Still, once you've read through, it does become easier after a while. And you do get a decent warranty with the Mi Boxer of three years, which is nice to see. Now, as far as putting the cells in, you've plenty of space on this even for protected cells. The slot length on this is around about 72 millimeters. So you shouldn't have any issues. Can be a little bit fiddly with the AAA batteries because of the raised contact points. So you might need to jiggle around a bit on that. Now powering up the display. This display auto dims after a couple of minutes. And if you need to reactivate it, it will do so itself if you put a battery in or if you touch one of the buttons. Now, as soon as you put a cell in, you'll see that the percentage comes up. It will give you a voltage and it will automatically start charging. It measures the internal resistance on each cell and then comes up with an automatic charging speed. Now, to do this, it has to be quite accurate. Otherwise, it could get it wrong. Obviously, it knows if it's uh, lithium ion or nickel metal hydride you can manually adjust the charging speeds though, and that's quite important as you see on the screen I've listed out the maximum charging speeds that you have they're a bit higher for the lithium ion so perhaps only disadvantage with that would be if you had um, C or D sized nickel metal hydride cells now for the slot on the left it's picked uh, 1.5 amps and if you cycle through the settings, you can actually go back to the automatic setting as well. And that will adjust depending on the internal resistance that is calculated. And it seems to be pretty accurate. I certainly didn't have any problems um, with different size batteries. And I tried quite a few in this charger. Performance is pretty much the same as the previous Mi Boxer chargers. It's pretty much bang on as far as the automatic charging goes. The only thing that I find a little bit frustrating is if you wanted to go through the timer setting here to show the remaining time, it requires a few button presses, hence you'll have to look at the manual. And also the capacity test needs a few extra button presses and it's not really as intuitive as I would like. So that is something I would consider looking at. You can see these symbols there on the top when it's got into the capacity test. You can see on that one the three arrows That was a quick sound of the fan and that comes 
kicks in rather when it's discharging a cell doesn't really kick in normally when it's charging that's to help get rid of the heat and you can discharge quite quickly with this unit you can select the discharge rate so that's understandable that it has a fan it could be a little bit quieter in my opinion though what I'm doing now is putting a very high internal resistance cell into the charger and that charges quite slowly that's probably the only disadvantage that I have found with this charger as far as the termination goes on lithium it was absolutely spot on it's just for those high internal resistance worn out cells you will get fairly slow charging speeds so you could manually go in there and change it but obviously it indicates that the cells are fairly worn I'm putting a 10 440 into the charger to try and trick it now and see whether it will put too high a charge rate and it's 150 milliamps which is a good charging speed for that cell it's only about 200 milliamps an hour for capacity a lot of charges won't actually go down to that low um, charging rate so that's a significant advantage if you charge a lot of smaller lithium cells again charging uh, termination is spot on for the lithium I find it gives a little bit more than the night core charges but it's still around the 4.2 or just under testing out some any loops now AAs and they'll go up to around about an amp in automatic charging they're new cells so that's quite safe for single um, AA cells and again more termination tests sometimes it can go a little bit over the 1.5 uh, for nickel metal hydride that's not unusual because um, those types of cell can actually handle it whereas lithium ion really you want to be pretty much spot on to that 4.2 so some summaries with the Mi Boxer C2 4000. I do like the charger, specifically the extra features, which could be very useful if you need them. Uh, the termination is accurate, both on nickel metal hydride and on lithium iron cells. And you've got good charging speeds up to 1.5 amps per bay. I would have just had a look at the usability side of the charger. I thought that could perhaps be a little bit better, and possibly a slightly quieter fan. But leaving that aside, decent charger, and quite a capable one for most users.